In this video with the Onking, I'm gonna show you how to customize the background, the gears, the text, everything. Just it's 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 lots of fun, and I'm gonna show you how to do all of it. Okay, this add-on is a ton of fun, and hopefully you don't waste as much time on it as I have. But you can see I've got the background, I've got these gear icons here, and in a little bit, I'm gonna show you how to change the colors of this, the numbers here, and a couple other things that are kind of fun. So, but first, for starters, this is the add-on that is here. I had a lot of help in making this, um, but you can see there's lots of cool backgrounds pre-installed. Uh, there's also lots of instructions down here. I would strongly recommend you read those, but um, that's the, the gist of it. You do need to be on Anki 2.1.22 or later, but there were significant changes in point 20, and so I made this video, and I'll link this in the description if you're not already on this version or later. Um, but with that, I'm going to show you kind of the gist of this. You go to Tools, and you go under this thing here. There's two options. Now, I'm going to click on this one first just to show you. This is the folder that contains all of the images. So if you want to add your own images, you can under this user files here. And they, uh, it's for what it is here. So you can see the background images are here. The gear icons are here. And then I'm going to show you this in a second, how you can add CSS. And that's the part that actually changes the colors here. So multiple different things. So that's an important thing of where to have the folders. Now, if you want to change the background image, you go to Tools and you go to this setup here. You can actually access it from the Add-ons dialog as well. And it's going to pull up the config. I've added lots of instructions here to make things easier for you, including where I got the images. Um, and I'll pull those up here just to show you. This is the legal license, but this website, Pexels, has a lot of uh, free, very high quality images, which are great. Um, and then this Wikimedia Commons, um, if I click on this one, has a bunch of emojis that you can go through. Um, they're really nice. So you basically just save this and then you drag it and drop it to that folder that I showed you previously. I'm going to go back there just to point out one thing that is uh, kind of important. And you cannot, uh, with CSS, let's see, you can't change the opacity or anything with these images. So you can see these are slightly transparent. And I did that on purpose because I think it looks a little bit better. Um, and I used Photoshop, so you'll just have to use an external uh, editor. I'll link something in the description of this video that's an online version of something similar to Photoshop that might work. Uh, and you can see I've also made the file sizes smaller. This was originally like 10 or 20 megabytes. And that's not ideal because every time you click on something, it has to reload the image. Or if I click here, you can see it has to reload the image. So um, just as an FYI, that's it, it, it's not ideal. Now I'm going to go back into the uh, customization here and show you a couple things. So if you want to change the images, you want to change it here under the image name. And you want it to be exactly what the image name is in that folder that I showed you. And it needs to have the extension. You can use other extensions other than um, the PNGs, but that's what I have it for now. And I've preloaded all these images and wrote their names here. So I'm going to change to Milky Way. We'll just try that for now. Oops. Um, just because it's kind of a fun one. And then I also... <coughs> Put things here if you want. If you don't want there to be an image, but you want to customize the gears, you you can just put this. Uh, so there's just two quotes, and it will make it so there is no background. Or if you want to default on the gear, then you just put gears.svg. That's what uh, Anki uses. That's the default. And then the toolbar image thing. This is the main screen here, but this is the toolbar, and then this is the bottom toolbar. And you can see if I move this over that this picture is uh, doesn't actually go into those. Now these are rendered as three separate things. So if you do that, you're going to get three separate images. So it really only works if the image is homogenous. And I'm going to show you that in a second so it makes a little more sense. But I'm going to turn that to true for now. And the other thing I want to point out is I have the background size set to contain. That means that it's going to show the whole thing. It's going to contain it within this. So you can see it doesn't actually overlap. You can see the whole image. But with the Milky Way thing, you probably, as I've described here, you want to do cover. Especially if you're using this toolbar image set to true, you're going to want this part here set to cover. I'm going to leave it to contain right now just to show you what's going on. Um, but I also want to point out these things right here, background, attachment, position, repeat. These are all CSS. And to get a better idea of what's going on here, I do have this video on how to format card style within Anki. And uh, this uses HTML and CSS. So this is a really good intro if you've never started that. Uh, or you can use this website, w3schools.com. They're great. Uh, and you can see I've got all these things here. And so if I clicked on... Um, the background size, they have examples of how you would use it. And then down here, they have the property values of what this can be. So like I said, there's cover and contain, but you can also do a percentage or you can actually set the width and height and pixels if you wanted to. 
Um, same thing, here's another page. This one does the background position instead, so you, like where you want it. I currently have it set to center, but uh, just as an FYI, this is a great website. This is where I learned CSS uh, basics and where I go when I need to learn things. So that's just kind of how that works. Um, I'm going to go ahead and restart this just to give you an idea of what's going on. And we'll click this. I'm going to come back to this thing right here in a little bit and show you the CSS, but I want to show you how the images work. We'll open that. Oh, we didn't change anything. Let's try that again. Go to the config. I forgot to click OK. Milky Way. And go, which one do we want to set this to true? OK. Sorry about that. Now let's restart. Make sure you hit OK when you do that. And it will show, uh, it'll be kind of funky. And I did that on purpose because I want to show you this is a problem a lot of people are having. There you go. You can see the image doesn't cover it and it's kind of funky here. So you can see what I meant that this, this toolbar, this and this are rendering as three separate images. Um, and so that's why I would recommend you use a homogenous thing. I'm going to go back into the config here. As you can see, I can also access this from the add-ons dialog and I'm going to set this to cover and it will look much much better but because this image is fairly the same throughout that's why it works otherwise it's gonna look kinda of funny just as an FYI but most of the pictures I preloaded work pretty well um, and I did that because I knew how these work there we go now you can see that it works really well but if you pay really close attention you can see that light spot right there is very similar to that light spot and that light spot so it's centering the images and that's just how that works um, and it, it's also made to go in, if we go into this page, it's also here. And if we go into the reviewer, this is where it gets kind of weird. This part is going to stay. Uh, and that's when I would recommend this other add-on called No Distractions. Let's go over here. No Distractions Full Screen. Uh, it basically makes it so you can get rid of this bar. So we go to View. I can toggle Windowed Mode. Now you can see it gets rid of that bar. And it actually gives you more space. So it is kind of nice. Um, <clears throat> I'll turn it off for now. And I'm going to show you the settings that I have for that just in case because I know there's a lot of people that are going to ask for that. So here's the config and here's the things that I've changed specifically for this add-on. I use night mode so I set the button border color basically to night mode so that it blends right in. You can do all sorts of stuff with this add-on and I would recommend you just uh, go read up uh, the, <clears throat> on this. It has a lot, it, it, it makes a lot of sense and it's fairly easy to use but that's how I have things set up. So that's just the gist of it. Um, and now I'm going to show you how you can change the colors of all of this stuff here. And it involves changing the CSS. So we're going to go back to this tools and go to here. And I'm going to go to the image folder. And the first thing you're going to want to open is the CSS here. And you're going to want to open the one for the whatever you're wanting to edit. So this screen right here is the deck browser screen. If I click on this, then I'm going to go to the overview screen. And then this is the toolbar here. And this is the toolbar here. So just real quick, this is deck browser. And then this is overview. And then if I go in here, this is the reviewer. Uh, and I may include something in the future that allows you to style this, but it is not currently a functionality. So just as an FYI. And I'm going to go back in. <clears throat> oh, just a little fun thing. You can see this is the, what I've got set here. Every time you click decks, it's going to shuffle it because I have it set to random, which is kind of fun. It won't do the random with the background image. You have to actually restart Anki for it to give you a new random one, but just kind of an FYI, that's kind of fun. Okay, back to here. Got a little sidetracked there. So under the user files, you can see there's these. So I'm going to style the deck browser because I want to um, change these, and I've already opened this file. The other one you're going to want is the sources file. This is what Anki actually has. This is what they're currently set to. And I want the deck browser as well. So I have those two files opened. We're going to go here. Actually, let's click Anki so you can see that. Okay. So here's the deck browser. This is what Anki is currently using. This is the custom deck browser. This is what we're going to use to customize it. Now, the reason for that is everything in this user files folder will stay even when you update things. Whereas if you updated the files directly in this sources file, every time you update this add-on, it will it will overwrite that and change it. So it's better to, to change the things in this custom stuff instead. So you can see that um, there's the reviewer count, the new count, the learn count. Most of this is pretty easy and you can kind of tell what's going on. It is all CSS. So like I said, if you need a little refresher in that, go watch the video. Um, and then note that pretty much everything has a night mode uh, partner. So here's the review count, here's the review count in night mode. Um, I'm going to pull this. I, this uh, thing I have right here is called virtual, let's see, visual studio code. 
Um, it's great. You can just use a text editor if you want. The reason I like this is because you can see that's green. Oh, that's what I'm referring to. That's blue, which is the new count actually right here for this blue for this one. Um, and then there's the decks, which are black normally. But if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see that the decks are white here. So you can change all sorts of things. So what I'm going to do to change them is I'm going to copy some of these night mode ones because I'm in night mode. And I'm going to copy them over to deck browser. And let's change this review count to red. And let's change the new count to purple. And let's change one more thing just so you really get a feel for what's going on. Most of these make a lot of sense. I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can kind of tell, you know, the collapse things, um, the gears, whatever. Uh, let's do night mode A deck. Oops. And I'll paste that in here. And we'll change the decks to, what's a good one? Pink. All right. So we got red, purple, and pink. We got a Valentine's theme going on here. I'm going to save this, so we'll file save, and then I'm going to restart Anki, and it should change all of those colors. Yeah, there we go, almost. Perfect. And you can see we've got pink, red, purple. Um, so all sorts of fun things you can change, and I've got other add-ons on here that you can actually change from through the uh, config. So that's the gist of editing this add-on. I'll show you a couple other fun things here just because I know people like to mess with it. Um, if you download my card type, go into the browser. This is the Onking Master card type. I have this image right here, and it's really small. I did that on purpose so that I can rename the deck here if I rename it. And you have to rename it just like this, image src equals underscore ak dot png. Um, just like that. And it will rename it with the, with the image there. So you can do that with any image, really. I shortened the name of the image just to make it really simple. Um, because when you come into the browser, you can see it now is like that. There's no way around that. Um, but I just think it's kind of fun. So that's one fun twist. And then another fun twist, because I know everybody likes to tweak just about everything. You can see I've got the logo here. I'm going to show you how to do that. So if we go to Tools, and I'm going to go to this folder where I've got it under the gear. Oops under the gear icon here is the onking image. If I open that up, this is pretty similar on Windows as it is on Mac. I'll put a link in the description when I find one that describes how to do this. But here's this. I'm going to do Command or Control A, to select all of this, and then I'm going to copy. And then I need to go into my applications. And here's, you can see I've got multiple versions of Anki here, but that's the default one. What I would do on a Mac here is I'm going to do right click and then get info. I'm going to click on that logo and then I'm going to command V to paste. And now you can see it is like that. So just a kind of fun way to customize just about everything on your Anki. Hopefully that's enjoyable. Hopefully you enjoy all the backgrounds here. I've had a ton of fun with this and uh, don't waste too much time. Thanks for learning with The On King. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at OnKingMed. Also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, OnKingMed.com, for more tips and tricks.